Amidst protests and dissent, on August 24th, Japan pulled the trigger. Waste water from the devastated Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant was released into the Pacific Ocean. One month later, Japan has just completed the first phase of the Fukushima water release, and I'm here to find out what impact it has had so far. In this special episode of Insight, join me, Genevieve Wu, as I travel across the prefecture to speak to those affected by the water release. まあ、震災の渦中にいるような感じはしています。And see for myself if the waters are as safe as claimed to be. 検査用にあの、ちょっとこう、細かく切って、え、検査に持ってきます。This summer is Japan's hottest in 125 years of records. But the baking sun did not melt the frustrations of these activists gathered here at noon. There are about 12 or 13 protesters here, and it's a diverse group from teenagers to grannies to grandpas. And they are here to voice their unhappiness over the release of the water, despite the punishing, sweltering heat. It has been about one month since the water was released in August. And as you can see, protests like these, here at Iwaki City in Fukushima, still go on. Leading the demonstrations is 68-year-old Chiyo Oda. The water has been released for a month now. Why are you still protesting? え、それは同じ気持ちで、あの、流してほしくないって気持ちが変わらない。その放射能の含まれた水が日本の外に出ていくっていうことを認めたくないし、未来にそれが残ることも認めたくないから、その声は止まないということですね。Right now, the first phase of the water release has just been completed. The Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, discharged 7,800 tons of water into the ocean. The water has been treated to remove most of the radioactive elements, although that's not something that Oda takes comfort in. Opposition, both domestic and international, has been ongoing since the government first outlined plans to release the waters two years ago. To understand the controversy over the water release, we have to go back 12 years, to March 2011, when the most powerful earthquake ever recorded in Japan struck just off the coast of Fukushima. The earthquake caused tsunami waves reaching 40 meters, which damaged the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. The plant lost power, and with it, the ability to cool the reactor cores. Three nuclear reactors would soon melt down. Since the disaster, TEPCO has had to pump seawater every day to cool the nuclear fuel rods. This is mixed with rain and ground water. This water, because of contact with the fuel rods, contains high levels of radioactive nuclides, including cesium-137 and strontium-90. Exposure to these could be fatal. 
until recently. This wastewater had been stored in some 1,000 above-ground tanks. But in 2021, the Japanese government announced it was running out of space. Now they have reached almost uh, full capacity already. If you store the water on land, uh, you subject yourself to a lot of risk, right? I mean, there are a lot of security problems that you have to put in place. If you can have some kind of a terrorist event, then that will cause kind of a panic. It's the psychological fear. Instead, the Japanese government and TEPCO's solution is to release the water into the ocean, but only after removing the radioactive particles through a process called Advanced Liquid Processing System, or ALPS. The ALPS actually contain a lot of filters, and uh, water is actually pumped through this filter. On the filters, there are adsorbents that, will, that those uh, radioactive uh, materials, each element will actually be stick on to actually some of these uh, adsorbents. And as the water actually passes through, you find that more and more of this radioactive material will actually be removed from the water itself. But there is one element that the ALPS process cannot remove, an isotope of hydrogen known as tritium. Tritium is what most people are worried about. Tritium exists not as tritium itself, but as part of the water molecule. So that is to say that we know water molecule is H2O. So one of the H is actually replaced by tritium. And chemically, there is no difference between those uh, water molecules that have a tritium in it and those molecules that have a usual hydrogen in it. There is no way that this catchy can be differentiated and actually removed from the system. But the tritium levels are expected to be very low. TEPCO together with the International Atomic Energy Agency, or IAEA, said that the treated water has minimal levels of radiation, measured in a unit called Becquerels. They have actually met all the safety levels uh, in terms of the uh, regulations, which is capped at 60,000 Becquerels per litre. Uh, they have actually treated the water to a level that is going to be less than 1,500 Becquerels per litre. Uh, and that is only for tritium. So, on August 24th, TEPCO went ahead with the water discharge. The wastewater was pumped into the ocean via an undersea pipe one kilometer away from the shore. The purpose of taking it offshore first is simply to absolutely make sure that we don't get a, a concentration directly around the coast accumulating. Um, and once the water is pumped about one kilometre offshore, we can expect to see very rapid and effective uh, um, dilution and dispersal uh, of the radioactivity. But for all the safety reports and assurances, one group in particular was not appeased. Fukushima's fishermen. From what I've been told, residents of Fukushima are reticent and stoic, but not outspoken or willing to express their anger, especially over the water release. Indeed, many of the fishing unions and cooperatives I've spoken to have declined to speak to me. But I did manage to find one who refused to be silent, and we're going to look for him right now. I was given the name Haruo Ono, a 71-year-old fisherman who has lived in Fukushima all his life. He's one of the few who have not shied away from speaking up. The fishermen's vexations can be traced to a memo sent by TEPCO in 2015. It promised not to release wastewater into the ocean unless it obtained the understanding of the fishing cooperatives. Ono and his friends feel the authorities have not lived up to their end of the bargain. Before 2011, Fukushima's fishing industry reeled in almost 70 million US dollars worth of marine catch. But the nuclear disaster changed all that. 
attach value dwindled to $17 million by 2018. By 2022, it had bounced back somewhat to $26 million. The fishermen are now afraid that this hard-fought recovery will be reversed. China, for one, has banned the import of seafood from Japan, worth some 600 million US dollars per annum. ほら、足りがたい時期に乗って。ほなら俺らの人たちってあの、単行換すればいいんだし、このあの、取り締まだってな、人数限りもなあの、なんかあの、なくなるんだし、あの、取り締まってね。で、放射能はもともと100、100、
特に、えー、と福島の観光の方々になってくるとやっぱりどうしても福島のイメージっていうものを大切にしている方々が非常に多いので今回の海洋放出に関しては反対を持っている方が多いですね。うちにに関しては特に、えー、と大きなな影響は感じていないです海外の方も非常に多いですが。えー、とそういったトピックになることもあまりなかったですしあの、まあえーとまあ、もちろんその海洋放出のトピック自体はあまり知らないっていう人ももちろんいたり。Nonetheless, Japan's decision to release the wastewater has drawn adverse reactions from its neighbors. Chinese travel companies began cancelling tours to Japan. While hundreds gathered in South Korea to protest two weeks after the release date. あの最近ちょっと変な電話が他の国からあのかかってきたり、まあそれはおそらくほあの海洋放出に対するあの反対のお電話のようなんですけども、まあそういうちょっとしたこう抵抗をするあのお電話なんかは増えたりしてはいるんですけれども。One concern is that sea currents will carry radioactivity back inland or to other territories, contaminating water supplies. But experts say there is little cause for alarm. In the Pacific, where the release site is happening off Japan, that's actually an area where two of the world's major ocean currents meet. So that's the Kuroshio current, which flows upwards from the south, and the Oyashio current, which flows down from high latitudes. And so, really, all of the radiation that's being released will mix and very heavily be diluted quickly. And then actually get carried out eastwards into the open Pacific Ocean. And then it becomes part of the rest of the, the Pacific circulation. And ultimately, it, it will reach the North American coastline, it will reach into the South China Sea, it will come past Singapore as well, but at such low concentrations that even with the most sensitive detectors, it will be at, at levels far below what we could ever actually pick up. As for Ito, He doesn't seem to be particularly anxious drinking straight from the tap. The wastewater release has become a topic of conversation at his hostel. えっとそういう話のトピックにあのこのバーのゾーンでなったりすることもありましたが、あのそれについては特にあのそれもあの心配をあのしている様子はなくですね。まあ。Around this time, I heard of a meeting somewhere much closer to Fukushima Daiichi. Naraha is a small town, just 19 kilometers from the nuclear plant, with a population of some 7,000 people. I was invited to the council hall, where residents have gathered to discuss the implications of the water release. 68 year old Yukei Matsumoto. The mayor of Naraha was giving an update on project developments. The Kayo Host in Sitiva, Sahodo, Natibiscane, Naraha Machi, Naraha Chomi, Oiteva, Hunter Sulkata Moira Shaimasuna, Omune, what is Ne, Yoyak Kayo Host Dana, Toyuni, Toraite, Toyuni, and Mite Mas. Because of its proximity to Ground Zero, the residents of Naraha were evacuated during the 2011 disaster. They only started to return in 2015. Since then, local authorities have been trying to lure visitors back. The coastal town started hosting a surf competition this August. They also preserved the Namie Elementary School located on the coast, six kilometers away from the nuclear plant. It is nicknamed the Miracle School as all students and teachers were safely evacuated in the wake of the earthquake and tsunami. The school, established in 1873, is now a memorial museum open to the public and tourists. In the past decade since the tragedy, how has been the recovery of Fukushima? まあ、あの震災から12年前が結果をしたというようなお話でありますがいわゆる12年前から見ますとですねかなりあの復興が
進んでいるというふうに感じております。地地を立て直すためにえー、国自体が復興庁というものを作っていただいてそこを軸にですねあの被災地をハード面が思うんですが順次国の予算を出しながらですね、えー、今まで復興にご尽力をいただいたというようなに、えー、ふうに思っております。So despite all the assurances given by the Japanese government, even TEPCO and IAEA, これは風評被害が出るんではないかというようなことから反対をしているというふうに思われます。多分にその漁業者の皆さんは今ほど申し上げた通りですね、科学的根拠に基づいたものであるというものについては理解はしているはずです。Another. In Japan and elsewhere, nuclear power has a bad rep. Public perception surveys show that nuclear is one of the least popular power sources, despite it being also one of the safest. Radioactivity and radiation is obviously an instinctively emotive topic, and it, it strikes fear for many because we always associate it with nuclear accidents and、uh, you know nuclear weapons and, and very large、uh, rates of radiation exposure. When you talk about nuclear, people say, "Oh, wow,、well, I don't know anything." All I know is that radiation is bad. All they can think of about nuclear is that Chernobyl or Fukushima. So、uh, there's a lot of public education that needs to be in, informed. So, with the water release returning Fukushima to the spotlight, the stigma surrounding its nuclear past could be revived once again. あの風評あの指定魚が安かった安くてあのお金が入んなったら誰に請求すればいいんだかってあの請求仕方がまだあのまだなってないんですよこれ。To convince visitors and consumers, Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida personally vouched for Fukushima's reputation by eating fish caught from its seas one week after the wastewater release. And in this way, too, the locals hope that others will give Fukushima a chance. やっぱり多くの人がですねこの地域に来ていただいて。あの見ていただいたり食べていただいたり、えー、そんなことをしながらですねあのその経験したものを正確にあのいろんなあの角度で,です、ね、発信をしていただければあこの地域もですねあの盛り上がっていくものなのかなというふうに思っています。And now that the first batch of wastewater has been discharged, has any spikes in radiation levels been detected? Here in Fukushima, I learned that fishmongers have taken to testing. The radiation levels of their daily catch, but what exactly are they measuring? Back in Singapore, I caught up with Professor Chung King Yao from the Singapore Nuclear Research and Safety Institute to better understand radiation. Can you tell me what is background radiation and where does it come from? Okay,、uh, actually, it's around us, we are actually subjected to radiation from. Outer space from the ground、uh, all the time, but、uh, most of us are actually not aware of this,、uh, and we we call this background radiation because there's no way for us actually to get it out. If we really want to see the background radiation, we have to use instrument. For example, like what you have here, a Geiger counter.、Uh, let let me just turn this on, and、uh, straight away you can actually hear some click. Every click is actually an indication that there's actually some ionizing radiation actually passing through. Passing through the detector, so in general, most、uh, expert look use the background radiation as a guide to say that anything that's below background radiation probably is safe for us. So, Prof, so exactly how much radiation are we exposed to? 
For example, you look at this uh, figure now. You can see that it's about 0 0.2 uh, micro civic per hour. That is to say, one hour we are subjected to about 0 0.2 micro sievert. Okay, so actually there are objects that will actually give us slightly higher level of radiation. In the past, in fact, uh, a lot of uh, manufacturers actually use a much higher level of radioactive substance like uranium and thorium in their products. Okay. So one of which is actually this. If, okay. if you were to actually just go closer, you... Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so this has actually been used for many, many years. A cup like this that's, that people have actually used for drinking or plate that people actually use for eating. Right. Uh, some of these are actually even coated with uh, uranium. Mm. Do you recognize that? No, what is this? Okay, so this is a fire alarm. It's a smoke detector. For smoke detector, it's actually to use a uh, radioactive source to actually complete the circuit. Uh, so when there is no fire, you find that the circuit is completed. But when a smoke particle actually goes through, you find it disrupts the circuit yeah. and straight away actually will raise an alarm. And among the items that Prof Chung showed me, one word rang a bell. This is a watch that contains tritium. Oh. You see all the, all the markings uh, that actually look, seems to grow in, in the dark. Those actually contain tritium. So this is, contains tritium and that is what we're concerned about in Fukushima. Yes. Let's see. Oh, okay. Not too bad. 0.2 something. Since tritium cannot be removed by Alps, it is the main radioactive element found in the released waters. How much tritium is there in the released water? And will this amount be harmful? There should be less than 1,500 acre per litre. With this concentration of tritium in water, you find that the risk to the sea, to the wildlife, and to the environment is actually, most, most scientists actually assess it to be quite low. A lot of computer simulation has actually tried to determine uh, what is the level of concentration, say, at different distance from the release point. In fact, they found that uh, just about one kilometre away from the release point, you are actually very close to what the natural level is. Most experts feel that uh, the level should be just like normal background. Now that the treated water has been released, TEPCO has been measuring radiation levels to test real-world evidence against computer modelling. Water samples near the release site measured below 10 Bacrols per litre, well below TEPCO's discharge suspension limit of 700, and the World Health Organization's limit of 10,000 Bacrols per litre for drinking water. So in that sense, I have to say, I think the risk assessment is thorough, I think the assessment is thorough, and uh, what I also like is that the data are being made available more or less in real time, so any one of us can log on to the IAEA website and actually look at what are the, the numbers being measured in the discharge area. Still, back in Fukushima, not everyone is taking the authorities' word at face value. What are you doing, Yoshizawa-san? え、検査用にあの、ちょっとこう、細かく切って、え、検査に持ってきます。This man is 69-year-old Masami Yoshizawa. He will send the fish to a lab for testing at his own expense. I'm here at his ranch inside the 20-kilometer exclusion zone around the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. え、これは僕が作ったね。福島原発事故のお墓という。モニュメントです。爆発で建物建屋の下の方にですね。Back in 2011, Yoshizawa defied the evacuation orders. He could not bear to abandon his herd of cows, which would have starved to death had he left them. で、僕上にはあの 
、第一原発から撤退するという情報を知ったんですよ。で、まあ、僕はこの野郎と思ってね、もうもはやこれまでだと、えー、福島県で一番最初にね、直接抗議に乗り込んだのは僕だったんですよ。3月18日、早朝、ね、えー、僕は福島県で最初に東電本社に抗議に乗り込んだ。Due to the risk of irradiation, Yoshizawa's cows are now unsuitable for commercial sale. TEPCO compensated him at about 1 million yen per head, or 6,700 US dollars. Nonetheless, because of what he went through, Yoshizawa does not view TEPCO kindly. Tokyo Dentry is a very trouble case of the world. So, you know, the world is a very trouble case. やっぱり金儲けの発電所だったんですよ。安全対策、地震対策、津波対策をおろそかにした結果ね、第一原発の大事故になった。At the heart of the grumbling around the water release is an issue of trust, where TEPCO does not have a stellar track record. TEPCO has a reputation of、uh, non-transparency in the past. Uh, even before 2011 uh, earthquake that struck uh, Fukushima, uh, in the past there are a lot of uh, uncoverings uh, of uh, mishandling uh, on the operation of the nuclear power plant. In 2002, the Japanese government uncovered evidence of false inspection records and unreported plant safety incidents at TEPCO facilities. Even after the disaster at Fukushima Daiichi, the company remained recalcitrant. In 2021, authorities revealed more security issues at other TEPCO plants, including a faulty intruder detection system that had gone unrepaired for a year. In January 2013, a Murasoi fish caught near the Fukushima Daiichi plant. Had 254,000 backrolls per kilogram of cesium, over 2,000 times Japan's limit for radiation in seafood. The source: contaminated water had been leaking into the sea from a wastewater storage tank. この海とか海の魚、川に登ってくるこのシーバス、スズキがね、心配なんですよ。だから僕はもう調べるしかないと。東京電力や国の出す情報を待っていたり鵜呑みにしてはいけないと。Since the 2011 nuclear disaster, the government has stepped in to supervise TEPCO's operations. I think the point now、uh, is not about TEPCO, but also about NRA, that's the Nuclear Regulatory Authority of Japan. This NRA is a new setup after the Fukushima incident.、Uh, basically, it regulates nuclear activities. It gives the license for type code,、uh, or they、uh, sort of approve that kind of safety standards, and all these are being set by NRA. So the Japanese government is really trying to build up the reputation of transparency、uh, and trying to build a kind of trust in the, the、uh, community to tell them that、uh, nuclear is safe. The NRA is part of Japan's Ministry of the Environment, but whether the move is enough to regain the public's trust is uncertain. 事故から12年半経ちますけれども、あ東京電力自身、えー、日本の原子力関係者、えー、政府の原子力政策の決め方も含めて、えー、もっとオープンな形であのさまざまなあ市民関係者も含めたあ議論の中で。えー原子力政策、エネルギー政策を決めていくというあのそういうやり方をしない限り、えー、東京電力あるいはあ日本政府の原子力政策への信頼回復っていうのはできないだろうというふうに思ってます。For Yoshizawa, he remains skeptical of the water discharge, but he has made some peace with the nuclear disaster at his doorstep. それと折り合いをつける我慢をして。その生きる道をやっぱり考えなくちゃないと思うんですよ。放射能があったって関係ないね。あそこで牛の世話をしながら、俺は人生を終わるんだという風に考えてる。だから牛と共に生きる。牛と共に死んでいく。それでいいと思う。俺は牛飼いだとね。
Right now, China's import ban on Japanese seafood remains in place, and it is hurting Japan's fishing industry. In August, seafood exports to China fell by two-thirds to 20 million US dollars, compared to the same month a year before. The negligible levels of radiation measured at the release site has done little to sway Beijing. Why China is doing it, we all know about the interests of China within the region. Japan has got the support from the US, and also that's where you can see maybe the Korean coming into play as well. I think Japan has done all it could in the scientific realm. But the problem with China is that it is political agenda. And I don't think that any scientific solution can be found. So it has to be solved in the political realm. In a counter move, Japan has filed a complaint to the World Trade Organization that China's ban is totally unacceptable. あの、so I've come to Tokyo, Japan's bustling capital of 37 million, to gauge reactions outside of Fukushima. My first stop, the world-famous Tsukiji fish market. With over 400 shops, it's a lively outdoor marketplace of seafood stalls and sushi restaurants, like this one, which I've picked to have my lunch. What is your feeling about the water release in Fukushima? Fukushima. I don't have so much relation to it. The government is doing it like that, so I don't think it's the case for the consumer. Do your customers ask you where the fish is from? Do they ask you is it a fish from? I don't know. 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 Indeed, I found that to be the prevailing mood at Tsukiji. One of nonchalance, or perhaps even bravado. まあ、ま、最初このそんなには、割と数パで買ってます私は気にしないで。あの、自分の年も年齢が今75なんですよ。だからまあ、長生きしてもその辺のあたりのでないかなっていう馬鹿みたいな考えもありますけど。What I found at Tsukiji perhaps mirrors the turnaround among the wider Japanese public. A GG press survey in July found that about 39% backed the water release. By September, support jumped to almost 53%. But in another survey, 
a majority still felt the government and TEPCO did not sufficiently explain the water release to the public. So, as lovely as lunch was, there's another reason why I've come to Tokyo. I have a meeting with TEPCO, the company at the heart of the controversy. まず ま、海洋放出をするというのは、ま、これはあの当社だけで決めたわけではなくてですね、あの政府、ま、専門家が長い間かけて決めた手法になります。で、我々はですね、廃炉を進めなければいけないということがありまして、廃炉を進めるためには
僕はあのそれはいずれ遅かれ早かれはあのやってくるものだと思っているのでこれは前に進むものだとあの思っています。They keep their fingers crossed that this episode will not reopen old wounds. 希望大事ですよ。人間の最終的な生きていく上でのよりどころがね、希望を持つことなんで、希望を見失わないことなんで。ハイドが成功するのにこいつを譲るしかないですね。これが失敗したら目も当てられないですね。一番のやっぱり夢はハイドがうまく成功することです。In the short time I've spent in Fukushima talking to the locals here, I get a sense that there are hardy, resilient people who want to get on with life. But it's clear to me that the tragedy has cast a long shadow over the community. A cloud of pessimism persists. And with the waters from the nuclear plant set to be released over 30 years, Any adverse effects, no matter how minute the possibility, will not be measurable till years from now. So the questions and debates over Fukushima will remain for some time yet. <laughs>